Welcome to Science Maps. Hello guys, and today is my first episode of Science Maps. And we are doing the solar system. And please congratulate me. Okay, so let's get going. First, first, the star of our solar system. The thing we all orbit, the big ball in the sky that keeps us warm, the sun. The sun is a, is our star. It, the sun is so hot that that its core is so hot and it is high enough to melt anything. And yeah, so that's the sun, your big ball in the sky. And now we go to Mercury, the, the guy, the winged messenger. And Mercury is a fast has a fastest orbit. Every every day of Mercury is forty eight Earth days. And yeah, Mercury is a great crater world. Now Venus. Something happened to Venus called the greenhouse effect. Let me explain. Okay, so we have our wonderful planet of Venus here. As you can see. Venus is a really beautiful planet. And let me demonstrate what happened. So Venus has a very dense atmosphere. Enough to flatten you. So this would be like you on Venus. Painful, isn't it? Okay, so let's let's get to this. So Venus's atmosphere, the sun, at our, our big ball on the sky, went like heat into Venus, warming up the planet. But Venus's atmosphere is so di dense, got so dense when, when it got increased, so it could have been it when Mars's atmosphere got blown off and could have just went to Venus. But Venus's atmosphere got so dense that it could have been like Earth and all the water evaporated and no heat could get out. Sunlight could get in, but no heat could get out. Heating up the planet so hot, all the water is gone. So, uh, like, if you think about it, it's really sad. No water makes everything. Helps you make your birthday cake too. So let's do this. So Venus got super hot, and Venus without atmosphere is livers of sulfuric acid. Can I tell you how that got there? Rain of sulfuric acid. And the water evaporated into sulfuric acid, making rain sulfuric acid. So you wouldn't last long, or nor, nor your umbrella. So you would be dead, really dead. You'd just be not there. So that is Venus, guys, and let's move on. I'm pretty sure you know this, that's your home world. Like the planet of Earth and it's one natural satellite, the moon, which is a pretty boring name, but it's called the moon. So. Congratulate Earth for keeping us alive. Okay, that was awkward, but there's Earth, and it kept us alive. I mean, get selfie with it. Okay, so let's sit down. So let's sit down so going for Mars. And Sumo is Phobos, Deimos, Mars. So Mars and Sumo is Phobos and Deimos. Uh, Pho Phobos is Phobos is a, is the large one out there. I don't know why I did that. And Deimos is small. So, yeah. And I'll tell you how Mars's rocks got red. Let me explain that to you too. Okay, guys. And now let me explain this. Okay, so let me fix this. Okay, now let me explain. So, there, here 
is Mars and two moons and all that. But why did it get red? People wonder about this. And so, let me explain. So, all its rocks are just regular gray rocks until the water on Mars, it could have supported water and life until its atmosphere got blown away and Mars was stranded with very little atmosphere. So, its atmosphere got blown. So, all the water evaporated and it rusted and made the rocks a reddish color. And I know what you're saying, you know, like, yeah, rust, but it's really not like that. So, I think you should stop worrying about rust. Really? So, let's, so let's get going with, so, I, that's, that's how it explains it. Now, on to the next one. Jupiter! Okay, the god, the Roman god of sky. Also, I forgot to tell you, Mars is god of war and Earth is goddess of water. So, Mars, is it is it god is it god of the sky? I mean Jupiter, sorry, is a god of the sky. And Jupiter is also known as Zeus. I think you all heard of him, don't you? Remember? Uh from what what's that movie's name? But I think you can figure that out later. But here's Jupiter and it's right right spot. The biggest of all the planets. And it's just a big ball of gas. It's core is about the size of size of Earth over there. So yeah, Jupiter. Now Saturn. Saturn, the, the sixth planet from the sun, with four moons orbiting it. Four main moons. Don't, I'm, I'm Titan's my favorite, but Saturn is a, is like the goddess of. Um, well, I forgot, but Saturn's rings are beautiful. Let me explain how they got there. Where's the camera? Okay. So we're doing this on our Mars paper so we don't be wasteful and keep Earth alive. Now let me explain this. Saturn, and, and mainly Saturn is just gas. It's all gas and it's rings. How did they get there? So it could have been a, door, a wandering asteroid or dwarf planet had gone too close. So Saturn's gravitational pull ripped it apart, and then voila, Saturn had rings. So, but or it could have been one of Saturn's moons had gotten too close to the planet, a big moon, and ripped it into rings, like ripped it, like ripped it. <clears throat> Not that kind of rip, but so that would be how Saturn got rings. And thank you for watching Saturn. And now, Uranus, or Uranus, whatever you prefer to call it, but please don't make fun of its name, because it's a really cool planet, known as a Roman sky god, and, 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 and Uranus it is um, a magician, Uranus a magician, my name, isn't it? And I forgot to move, but I think you should look that up on our channel, like, what the math? or I declare shenanigans, or D News, or something like that, but let's move on. Now we have Neptune. What happened to his moon, Triton? Wow, dead moons. Okay, so, so Neptune, hold, hold, Neptune God of the sea holds, holds a spear called a Triton, a three-point spear, which was supposed to be its moon. Maybe my doll did that, but yeah. Let's move on to something you might think is last, but actually isn't. Let me come up to Pluto. Please don't forget about this wonderful dwarf planet. And I think, but let me explain this for you all is why Pluto isn't part of our solar system anymore. One, the planet must be in orbit around our sun, which it is. It has to fit these, it has to fit two of these rules. Two. A planet clears, clears the neighborhood on its orbit. Very true. It's a straight line. goes up and back. And three, and 
And three, it has a mass to assume hydrostatic equilibrium, which it doesn't have, which is a thick atmosphere. Like, even Earth has that. Like, seriously, Pluto has five moons, but I didn't have the Pluto make them. But thank you for watching it and all the, the wonderful planets of our solar system. Don't forget Pluto. And yeah, this is the planets of solar system. And I hope you enjoyed today's video of Science Maps. Come join us next week to learn about the distant dwarf planet of Sedna. If the solar system is stale like the one back there, Sedna would be right here from its farthest distance from the sun. Now that's really far off. But I hope you join us next week to see it. And bye. Thank you for watch watching Science Maps.